Yeah, welcome to the uh, elevator pitch of the uh, pure free numbers of Hyperport SE. As you know, we are digitalizing the credit uh, real estate and insurance business here in Germany. And uh, we continue to do this uh, for the last uh, quarter as well. Uh, record number for all four segments, the two large ones, the credit platform with uh, your place in the center and the uh, private client were growing the fastest or to uh, new developments in the real estate area and in the insurance area grew as well and gained some operational traction. Even in this uh, current environment of uh, still a little bit Corona uh, recovery time and some special events as well from a perspective of uh, the housing market uh, in general. And yeah, and we had votings in Germany in the, in the last quarter uh, with quite a good outcome uh, for our general market position. Okay, talking about general market position, um, we have a strong housing market in Germany for the last 10 years, thanks to a lot of net migration to Germany. This is um, intact. We have an uh, increase in life expectation here in Germany. We have uh, the tendency to uh, single family households. And what is new thanks to Corona is that uh, households need more space. So two remote uh, working places for the parents and some uh, activity space for the children uh, increase the demand, especially the upper third of the market. So we see more transactions of families, upper third of the market, which has a positive impact on the market. In general, we, uh, we saw, especially during the summer season that uh, uh, properties came to the market, but uh, thanks to the sharp price increase of 13% in, uh, in the last quarter, uh, uh, the speed of transaction is slowing down. So it takes longer to market uh, uh, properties right now so that the, the overall transaction number is uh, going down and uh, multiplied with the, um, the, the property prices, we see more or less a stable environment right now here in Germany. So how does these different units perform during this time? We start with the credit platform, um, plus 60% for the last uh, nine months. So double digit growth above market, uh, we are gaining market share in mortgages still. A link to this uh, building finance and, and insure, an interest saving product, which is uh, pretty stable in market. And uh, so we, we are in line with this. Uh, where we were growing, even when the market is down, is personal loans. You can say uh, market is down roughly 10 to 15 percent, and we grew 30 uh, percent in, in this environment. So, next to mortgages, even personal loans, we are gaining massive market share here right now uh, in, um, in the current situation. Uh, we do this in all four segments. Um, uh, the uh, independent broker market, where, uh, which was for a long time already stronghold of, uh, of Europe, is still growing, and we uh, digitalized paper here. Uh, they take market share from bank branches. Uh, so the, the bank branches are under pressure and are migrating to, uh, to your place as well. Mm -hmm. uh, especially in the cooperative and uh, savings banks industry, we see a great dynamic in the last quarters and uh, with a plus of 71% in the cooperative banks and uh, 29 in the savings banks, even in uh, a challenged environment or challenging environment of, uh, of Corona. Uh, we, we stay on track and grow in these two sectors and uh, increase our market share. So we are here well on track in uh, um, getting to a level of 20 to 30 percent um, market share in these two groups where the, discuss the discussion of switching off the propriety um, in-house uh, IT solutions is, is getting closer. For the total segment, um, nine months where record figures, um, no surprise. Uh, thanks to some cost savings on um, uh, incentives and traveling, um, we could increase our EBIT numbers and outperform our, um, our expectation even. And especially in the third quarter, the uh, uh, corporate finance business distributed a lot of revenue and uh, profit because uh, the whole subsidy structure for, for corporates here in Germany changed. And uh, so lots of uh, uh, financing was postponed from the first half of the year uh, to the second half. And, uh, we finally see this uh, this roll up of the um, this amount of, um, of volume here in uh, in corporate finance. So uh, record numbers for this segment and uh, a strong base um, to expand to other areas. Um, private client um, linked to the mortgage business of the Europace, um, a franchise network with um, uh, more than two hundred branches here in Germany. It grew by nine percent in transaction volume. We had a very strong performance last year when we were the most digital broker in this whole pandemic environment. And let's say this, this we had to still recover from this uh, high double digit growth that we saw last year. And so the slowdown is uh, as well linked to, uh, a, let's say, a certain way of uh, organic 
let's say, adoption uh, to, uh, to this uh, new size. But number of uh, headcount of advisors is up 13%. Um, so uh, we, are, we are preparing us for future growth. And uh, together with the additional uh, um, uh, productivity gains from Europace, um, uh, this is a promise for next year that we will continue with a significant double digit growth. And uh, still, I hope that we will end up this year with double digit on the transaction volume here for this unit uh, still. Uh, for the uh, uh, for the revenue, it's a new record, first time above 100 million. Profitability as well, gained from the scalability of the business, plus some cost savings, especially travel related and event related here. So first new segment, um, real estate um, with a strong focus on uh, the, the home ownership market, where your pace with its strong position in mortgage is a key unfair advantage that we are using to expand along the value chain. In um, property purchase, uh, uh, we are growing with a, a transaction platform to uh, support brokers. In the property valuation, we are just executing appraisals for banks and in the future as well for sellers and brokers. The unit grew by 10% in the first nine months as well to a new size. It's an area where we heavily invest to, uh, to gain traction along the value chain. So the minus 3.6 in EBIT is uh, planned, expected, and will boost the future uh, increase in, in, uh, in revenue in this segment. Last segment, insurance platform. Here we are migrating uh, multiple acquisitions we did in the last five years to an integrated cloud offering for the insurance world. The numbers of uh, contracts and the, the premium volume, which is uh, migrated to smart insurtech is uh, up 20% in the first nine months. 3.3 billion of household premiums are uh, on the platform now. 21% of them are validated. It means uh, sales organizations put its contracts uh, to our platform. And on the other side, the insurance company links their core system to our platform so that we have a valid uh, data set on which we are able to automate the processes along the value chain further. This is the core value for, uh, of this platform that everyone looks on the same data and uh, every process is valid based on this data. So here we are uh, up 8% uh, for the first nine months, as well in the transformation time still from a project-based traditional business on-premise to a SaaS solution for our partners. But we are gaining traction and uh, the investments that we are putting in here for a couple of years now uh, payback, start to payback. So all in all, for Hyperport, it means uh, new record numbers, um, uh, 325 million in revenue and 55 million in EBITDA. We show with the outperformance of the earnings that uh, our business uh, model and the incremental margins are high. And as soon as we slow down uh, the hiring process of uh, new key account resources and engineers, uh, our uh, profitability growth races away. So in a um, uh, strong first nine months, um, even in a um, more or less challenging market environment. And um, uh, on a long-term perspective, you can say, we are getting close to our last year number. So it will be a record year again. And we feel uh, right now pretty comfortable with our guidance. Um, uh, even when we invest uh, more than 40 million in this year again in uh, future growth and, uh, and expanding the business in new areas with no return for this year. So expect us to meet our guidance. We are bullish for next year as well. Hope to hear from you and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye. Hi there. Since you watched this company video until the end, I'm guessing you liked the video. And that's probably because we work very hard to create the most engaging and added value content for you. If you're a company and want to find out how we, at Seat 11A, can make a company video with and about you, please email us at content at seat11a.com.